Hello, my name is Athena Butu from Laboratory of Molecular Genetics, and my presentation is about beneficial microglia responses drive remyelination through inhibition of soluble TNF TNF receptor 1 signaling in the cortical gray matter. Multiple sclerosis as an autoimmune neurodegenerative disease is mostly characterized by white matter pathology. However, gray matter pathology is critical too, especially cortical lesions, which are associated with physical and cognitive disabilities. As you already know, there is no cure for MS until now, only disease-modifying treatments that mainly target the immune system and not the neuroinflammatory part, which is very important for the MS pathology. Neuroinflammation is mainly mediated by microglia and other glial cells, and the polarization of microglia from pro-inflammatory towards a pro-repair phenotype is a potential strategy to enhance CNS repair. For this purpose, we mainly focus on TNF. TNF is a master pro-inflammatory cytokine, which is upregulated in neurodegenerative diseases, such as MS. And while anti-TNF therapies are effective treatments for other autoimmune diseases, when they tested in MS, they even exacerbate disease. This could be explained as TNF has two forms. Soluble TNF, which signals through TNF receptor 1, has mainly deleterious effects on the CNS, while transmembrane TNF, which signals mainly through TNF receptor 2, has many beneficial effects in the CNS. For this purpose, in this study, we used EXPRO, which is a soluble TNF inhibitor, specifically only for the soluble form of the TNF, and also we used microglial gene depletion by conditional gene targeting of TNF receptor 1 in order to study this biological uh, mechanism to enhance CNS repair. So in the first part, we used pharmacological tools and specifically EXPRO to inhibit soluble TNF, TNF receptor 1 signaling in the cuprison-induced demyelination model. For this purpose, we fed mice with cuprison for five weeks and during this period, this enhanced demyelination, microgliosis, and astrocytosis. Therapeutically, we inject EXPRO or saline uh, as a control, and we study specifically hallmark time points. Uh, following previous studies in the white matter that we studied the effect of soluble TNF inhibition in the white matter published by Karamita et al., uh, we now focus on the cortical gray matter, as you can see here, using new techniques and uh, 3D high-resolution analysis and in-depth cellular and uh, brain analysis, which is established in our lab by Vasiliki Kiragiri and published by Rufovalo Setol. So uh, let's move to our results. Inhibition of soluble TNF promotes remyelination in the cortex. So as you can see with green, it's the MBP staining for myelin. And as both groups had a slight demyelination at week three, which reached the maximum demyelination in the control group at week five, EXPRO treatment enhances uh, remyelination, and as you can see, we have uh, higher levels of MVP. To verify this result, we did 3D reconstructions of myelin, and uh, indeed EXPRO treatment uh, enhances remyelination in the, cort in the cortical gray matter at week five. In cellular level, uh, we want to understand which is the cellular responses which leads to this uh, promyelinating effect. And interestingly, we found out that the expert treatment uh, enhances astrocytic responses earlier. So as you can see here, even from week three, we have this huge astrocytic activation. And uh, similarly, inhibition of soluble TNF promotes early microglia responses. So in week three, we also have enhanced microglia responses. Uh, in order to understand uh, which is the function of these cells and uh, how this possibly contributes to the remyelination, we studied myelin phagocytosis and we found out that inhibition of soluble TNF enhances myelin phagocytosis in vivo in the cuprison model, as you can see here with a mild phagocytosis by a microglial cell, but also in vitro in a peritoneal macrophages mild phagocytosis assays, as you can see here engulfed by the peritoneal macrophages. So in the second part, we used conditional gene targeting in MS experimental bottles 
In order to target specifically microglial receptor 1, as we assume that this is the main effector cells of this effect, and we use the tamoxifen inducible system in the 6-3-CR1 cray mice. And as you can see here, uh, we established this protocol, so we let the mice demyelinated equally, and then we administer the tamoxifen in order to induce the microglial-specific depletion only in the remyelination phase and understand the contribution of receptor 1 in remyelination at this specific time point. And uh, indeed, microglial-specific TNF receptor 1 knockout promotes remyelination in the cortex, as you can see with the green in the MBP cortical layers, and here is the 3D reconstruction. And uh, in addition, it uh, promotes functional recovery on the motor coordination test in the rotorum. So microglial receptor 1 is sufficient to reproduce the CNS repair effects of the soluble TNF inhibition. And interestingly, uh, TNF receptor 1 knockout in microglia, similar with our results in the export treated mice, so an altered phenotype, so these cells are different and we measure the soma volume as an activation state of these cells. And indeed, this uh, is sufficient to recapitulate the effects we saw with soluble TNF inhibition. So therapeutic inhibition of soluble TNF promotes remyelination and CNS repair in the cortical mat gray matter. Unexpectedly, it induces earlier microglia and aspocyte responses which show an altered phenotype, and it enhances the phagocytosis and clearance of myelin debris. Microglial-specific gene depletion by tamoxifen reproduce these pro-remyelinating effects, uh, indicating microglia as a cell autonomous mediator of CNS repair. And the, in addition, at the cellular level, it alters the phenotype and the activation state. Overall, our results suggest that uh, allows beneficial glial responses that favor the CNS repair, indicating soluble TNF as a potential target to promote remyelination. So thank you very much for your attention. And I would like to thank Dr. Leslie Paul Probert, Ilya Rufagala, Vasily Kirargili, and Katerina Politopoulou for their contribution in this research. And of course, our collaborator, Dr. Ray J. Tacey and CJ Barnum from the Immune Bio. Thank you very much for your attention.